hello guys in this video we will see how to install and create extension that is postgs on windows operating system first connect to postgsql on windows let's verify postgs extension is added or not by running the command select star from from pg underscore available underscore extensions see these are the list of the extensions available all are in alphabetical order scroll down scroll up here see there is no extension with post js we have only post gress fw also try to create extension that is post js command is create extension post js see it is saying could not open extension control file and this is the path no such file are direct the extension must must be installed on the system where post is equal is running so we have to install it now we have two methods one is install post js with fresh installation i will show you Install PostGIS after PostgreSQL server installation. First, I will show you the first method. That is PostgreSQL.org slash download then Windows. Click on this download installer. Click on this download button. I have already downloaded. See here, I am cancelling this one. Click on that exe file. Click on yes. Next, see here. I have already installed PostgreSQL PG Admin Stack Builder and Command Line Tools. The PostGIS application is there in this Stack Builder, so which I have already installed. At present, I am cancelling this one. In your case, you have to select all this and follow the steps. Now we are going to install PostGIS package after PostgreSQL Server installation. Such Stack see this is the application that is application stack builder click on it here select the postgresql server installed version then click on next right it is downloading the applications yeah these are the application here post yes extension is there in this special extensions expand this one select this checkbox then click on next this is the download directory then click if you want to change you can change otherwise click on next wait a couple of minutes it is going to connect to the server Now click on next. This is the license agreement. Then click on agree. If you want to create special database, we have to select. By default, it has selected post years. The space required is 300 megabytes. Then click on next. It is going to install in this directory. Then click on next. We have to provide the password for the Postgres user. If you have other username, then Provide the username and password. Then click on next. This will be the sample database. Then click on install. Click on S. Again S. 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 Installation is completed. Again 
click on finish. Now try to run the same command. See here, post yes is installed. See here, post yes extension is installed. Okay, now create the extension. Create extension post yes. We have successfully added the extension. Let's verify whether this extension is added to database or not by running slash dx. See, we have added post yes extension. Extensions are database level. Now, for each database, we have to add or create extensions like this. Now, switch to another database and verify whether this extension is there or not. Slash dx. See, we don't have post yes extension if you want to add post yes extension here for this database then use the same command create extension post js verify see post js has been added successfully so in this video we have seen how to install and create post js extension on windows environment for more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Hello guys, in this video, we will see how to download and install Postgres SQL 15 version on Windows operating system. This process is same for Windows 10, Windows 11 and Windows servers also. Go to postgresql.org. This is the official website of Postgres SQL. Okay. See the notice here. On 13th October, PostgreSQL 15 has been released. Click on this download button. In downloads, click on this Windows icon. Now click on this download the installer. Now we have been redirected to Enterprise DB. See, these are the see these are the available PostgreSQL versions. We can get up to 9.3. That is the lowest version, and the latest version is 15.0. Now, in the Windows x86-64 column, click on this download icon. See download has been started go to downloads see it takes two minutes but i have already downloaded so i'm canceling this download in your case wait until download completes then go to the downloads directory see this is the exe file that is postgres 15.0 double click on the downloaded postgres sql exe file then click on S. Click on Next. See, this is the directory where PostgreSQL will be installed. If you want to change, click on this Browse button. Then provide the directory. Select any one of them or create a new directory and select. I am going with default directory. That is C Program Files. Postgres equal 15. Then click on next. See, these are the components comes with Postgres equal installer file. First one is the database server. Second one is pgadmin4 that is graphical user interface for managing Postgres equal database and servers. Next one is stack builder which contains additional tools and drivers and applications. Next one is command line tools. I am going to install all, select all and click on next. If you want to specify data directory other than the default one, in the same way, open and select. Then click on next. Provide the password for the Postgres, that is the super user. Remember this password for future uses. Notice here, Postgres is the username. Then click on next. This is the default port if you want to change change it then click on next the next local setting 
I am going with the default one. If you want to change, you can change from the drop down. Then click on next. This is the free installation summary. Review it. If you want to modify, then click on back and edit and click on next. Notice here, this is the installation log file. After installation, you can go to, you can open this file and see the installation summary. Click on next. Click on next. PostgreSQL installed successfully. If you want to download and install Stack Builder, then we have to check the checkbox. Otherwise, we have to uncheck it. The Stack Builder takes time. I am cancelling the Stack Builder. Later, you can try to install the Stack Builder. So, we have successfully installed PostgreSQL Server on Windows operating system. Connect to Postgres. PSQL. PSQL is the SQL shell to connect to Postgres server. Server name is localhost I haven't given. Database, the default database that is Postgres. Port also we have given 5432. That is the default port. Username Postgres. Password, provide the password for this user that we have given. 